Meeting the new Bernalillo County Sheriff, John Allen shared his first moves and what's in store for the Sheriff's Office and the public's safety. Anchor Sasha Leninger was there and Sasha, we learned something new about their helicopter. Ron, we did. It was a very informal question and answer session with Sheriff John Allen and his executive staff. And I asked him about their helicopter following that deadly wreck back in July. The sheriff saying their use of that helicopter has been suspended for now. For roughly six months, the Bernalillo County Sheriff's Office has been without an extra set of eyes in the sky. Helicopter aspect of MASU which is Metropolitan Air Support Unit, has been suspended. In July, the department's helicopter was helping fight a wildfire near Las Vegas when it crashed, killing all four people on board. Pilot under Sheriff Leary Corrin, Lieutenant Fred Beers, Deputy Michael Levison, and Lieutenant Paramedic Matthew King. There is a pending uh, investigation from the NTSB, and we, we, we want to know until at least give that time to be either completed or a little bit move forward. But Sheriff John Allen saying right now is not the right time to get the chopper back in the air. This is our time and our chance to make sure that we evaluate and reevaluate every policy and procedure. We don't even know what happened. We don't even know if the mistake is ours. We don't know if it could be something that we don't know about. The crash under investigation by the FAA and it could take years to complete. What we want to make sure is with our policies and procedures and if they contact us and if they do indeed give us information, can we correct that immediately? I don't want to have the air unit go back up and it's something um, that is serious enough for us to ground it again. The sheriff adding in the meantime, there will be other helicopters in the sky assisting, whether it's Albuquerque police or New Mexico State Police. Well, the sheriff also saying they want to make sure he and the department are honoring the families of those fallen first responders. But he adds everything is on the table when it comes to the helicopter, meaning whether it's buying a new one, sharing airtime with the other departments and possibly just being more so patrol based. Ron, back to you. Asha, thank you. BCSO does have a pilot for its copter, but they're working on a continuation plan as well.